What's up friends, I'm Different Jeff here with another installment in my, I'm making my first feature film docu-vlog thing. I believe this is episode four. And somebody told me, hey, you don't need to make these like posts and stuff, you know, just do it, just do it. And I thought to myself, um, thanks for the advice. But I kind of like to talk about the process and maybe partially it's for me or maybe largely it's for me, but maybe eventually one day it could be for other people. First thing I want to say, which has been passed to me from other cool people, is that you got to make your movies. Like, you got to make stuff. I hear people all the time talking about, oh, I wish I had done this, I wish I did that, or I have so many of this, so many of that. Just, like, make something. And yes, you can do it with your iPhone. It may not have, like, the absolute best quality at first, but I really do feel, like, I'm very grateful that I'm making this movie right now, and I am one-third of the way through filming. So I feel like I'm out in the wilderness with this movie. And um, I'm kind of like capturing everything I can possibly capture within my own home. And then once I get done with all that stuff, then I'm out on the road and I'm shooting like all sorts of weird stuff, like nighttime exteriors. It's going to be cold. And, um, you know, borrowing a couple people's houses for like little small stuff. But overall, it's going really well. I'm happy with, with um, the takes and the content. But I will just say I have so much respect and props for gaffers, sound people, art department, especially those people who I'm really feeling at this moment because doing, I'm doing everything myself on this movie, like, you know, sound, lighting, editing, filming, acting multiple parts. And it's the biggest challenges I've had so far have been sound when I'm shooting outside and even inside. Cause like the heater goes on, you just like sit there and like waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, I was just about to get the good one. You know, as far as cars going by, it's like ridiculous. Like there've been points where I'll do like a take, a single take, and then I'm waiting for cars and then I do another take, then I'm waiting for cars. And then the noon whistle and then the freaking sirens and then and this is not even in a noisy neighborhood so i can't imagine what what the sound people go through so huge respect and props um but and but lighting has been a, like a very big conundrum for me and i'm learning i got a light meter and i'm starting to learn i'm trying to get i'm getting better but i do feel like that might be one of the weak points so far of the filmmaking is that's there's going to be a couple of scenes that are lit a little like i'm trying really hard to avoid like oh i have a light on me so i'm lit but there's, there might be like one scene I keep thinking, which I might reshoot, but I'm doing my best. Anyways, um, we're plodding along. I, I'm really excited. I'm happy to do it. I'm going to try my very best to have the whole thing film, done filming within a month from now. It's taking a little longer than I expected, but I'm also like getting to the points where I realize, okay, I need to chill. I need to chill today. And, um, and that's helping me stay sane because I'm also posting seven days a week on my channel with regular content. So it's definitely been kind of a mad time and I'm trying really hard to get better, get better at my writing, my acting, my filmmaking setups and stuff like that. And uh, lastly, I just, I just had my 200th short in a row on my channel since COVID started. And what that means to me is just that I'm committed to writing and shooting and acting and trying to get better every single week. Anyways, that's my, that's my little rant for the day. Um, I really hope the movie turns out well. I hope you'll follow the channel, watch some shorts, and like support the movie when it comes out. It's called Your Fired James. It's about James the Handyman character, which I have a playlist of almost like 75 shorts for him that I've made so far. I don't know. I'm proud of it so far. So thanks for tuning in, and I uh, hope you guys are making your content and having fun out there. And definitely, like, it may be like a little bit of a cliche, but if you have an idea, just give it a shot. Go for it. Film it. And um, you'll probably be happy at the very least if you film it and you're like, oh, I could have done better, then do better. Do it again. I pray to God that this is the first feature I make of many, many, many features. I want to make at least one feature uh, a year in my life. But we'll see. Um, again, we're doing this for zero budget and um, zero crew, which is not advisable. Hopefully the next time around I have like maybe a skeleton crew of like three people. Um, cause even just like trying to find locations and I've done this very bare bones. Like I strategically writ this, wrote the script so that the scenes are very simple to shoot as far as locations and stuff. But, um, today I was driving around town looking for like a park that has a bench and like a public place that'll feel like you're in a public place without causing any static with anybody in town. So, um, even just to have a producer or, you know, or a, a jack of all trades, sound gaffer person who would be willing to do everything. Uh, or someone to operate the camera, and yada, yada, yada. So that's the story. We're moving along. Almost a third of the way filmed. We've shot 16 scenes. Today, by the end of today, it will be 18 scenes filmed out of 61. So, But some of those scenes are very, very small, like just be like walking at night. So I think it's fair to say one third of the way done. Wishing you luck.
best tidings possible in your life. And thanks for tuning in.